Does she realise that she has dementia? Does who realise she has dementia? Does Nana realise? Not you. Does Nana realise that she actually has dementia? Sometimes she does. Because she would say, am I very forgetful? Do I suffer from short-term memory loss? And I say, yes, you do, but it's not a problem. So we don't make it out as if it's like a great big thing. We treat it as if it was like a bit of toothache, snotty nose, yeah. earache, you know. Bit of a bad head, take a couple of paracetamol and it's sorted on. It's not as simple as that, but as far as Nana's concerned, it is as simple as that. So she doesn't always realise? She no. thinks it's a lot less severe A lot for her. simpler than lot, it actually yeah, is. than it is for us. Yeah. Come on, dog, move out of the way, please. We don't want any accidents. Oh, come on, Mum. Put your iPad down. It's breakfast time. There you go. Be careful. Don't spill it. Is she happy meeting new people? Oh, yes, yeah, she quite enjoys meeting new people because then she can tell them things that she's already told everybody else she's already met and she does enjoy telling people about, you know, what she's done in her life when she was young and when she first met Grandad, who's now with the great upstairs and all about Paul, my late brother who passed away. Do you remember a lot about her husband before he passed away? Oh yeah, yeah. We've got lots of, we've all got lots of memories of Nanda's husband who was my dad and your granddad. We made sure with it once he became Paulie. We made lots of lovely memories of his last five years. We've always done everything as a family, yeah. which means you have lots of memories to share with each other. Nana, do you feel you have dementia? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I mean, sort of, uh, what could, could you call it? I, I don't want to have it, so I deny it. Do you have a bit of a confused mindset, would you say, then, sometimes? Yeah. Is that what you class it? You don't class it as dementia I yourself? I class mine as short-term memory loss. Because I go upstairs to get something, and Kayla will say, have you got so and so? And I'll say, yes, I'll go up and get it. And then when I get up there, I have to shout down the stairs, what was it you said before? <laughs> It's like the complicated appointments and you forget. Yeah. You can and forget ten hours later, don't you? Yeah, and then then they give if I don't write everything down well then I forget what I'm doing, so hospital appointments and everything like that, they all go on the calendar. now coming up to Xavier's favourite pub, but not because he likes drinking, because he likes eating. And they have some nice food. I it is. Well, it's not. Hands again now. You know, if your granddad had stereo had seen a hedge like that, he'd have gone mad. Why did he cut hedges? Oh, he always had his head and hedge cut square. I went to Ford and it wouldn't work, so it's broke. He said it's not, but it is broke. That Xavier thinks he knows everything. <laughs> Yeah. So he's going to take me for a new one. Who is? Xavier is. Alright. So Xavier's going to take you for a new phone? Yeah. yeah. When Where he's got a minute. Which place? The Where Trafford was? Centre, I think he said. Okay. I don't care where he takes me. It's just it. I only have three numbers in my phone, you know. No. One of them I never use. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, did you prefer that one? That's the apple yeah. one with the vitamins in, yeah? Yeah. Do you want to get that one then? Yeah. One of these? Just one or do you want two? No, I think one would do. Thank you. Thank you. We're in the mood for dancing. 
Try some shoes on that one. 